okay when you do when you put the ch timing chain on the uh, crankshaft first thing first pocket is the big one with plastic inside and there's an arrow on the side this arrow needs to be flush with the left side of the cylinder head so 90 degrees But before you gonna fiddle with the arrow, you need to make sure uh, you have all the tools you need for the venus and uh, for the timing actually. First uh, tool is a camshaft locking tool. You need to lock two camshafts so they cannot move at all. Make sure this is tight, it sits on the cylinder head. And then you can uh, proceed with another tool, which is a uh, crankshaft locking tool, which is that pin. But you have a problem here because uh, we don't have a flywheel. We don't have a flywheel, and there is a hole for it. which goes through here and locks the flywheel but the flywheel we have to take off because otherwise the engine won't be on the stand so what you need to do you need to have your uh, crankcase I'm not doing this with the crankcase because I want to show you more bits inside but when you're doing this with your crankcase I'm gonna show you in, in, in the minute what you need to do if you don't have a flywheel this on the back. This is what you're gonna do. You're gonna have your uh, crankcase cover on the first place anyway. I just did it to show you where's the mark. That's the mark on the crankcase cover. That's the mark on the uh, on the crank pulley. So you need to make sure these are these are uh, lined up. So that's gonna be a top dead center. And then when you do top dead center, you can align this arrow with this edge. So as you can see, I got my arrow flushed with the cylinder head. So now what you're gonna do, you're gonna install three of these stop bolts. You can't put them wrong way because they are not symmetrical. That round thing needs to be out, facing out. And be careful not to drop anything inside. Um, the best thing you can do is put some uh, paper towels. here so next thing you want to do is install your secondary chain tensioner I said before you have to do uh, all these four torques but now you have to do two on the side and these two holding uh, the tensioner so these two on the side first and later these two excuse me about that But now I'm gonna remove this one because it's holding the lower timing uh, case. Because I wanted to show you 
how it looks like from inside. So I'm gonna remove it. And now we need off to the do camera. Is install the secondary time uh, timing tensioner. It's four bolts. Not too tight. It's not gonna fly away. Then you can install the tensioner, tensioner and lock it with special pin which is included in the in the kit with uh, Venus uh, jig and now we can install more sprockets and the secondary timing chain. that you need a, one of the jigs from the Venus uh, tool which can help you stretch and match the uh, teeths on the sprockets so that's how it uh, you see you can't actually adjust it now so you need to go back and now it's ready so what you do to, you need to take off the setup from the jig and put it on the camshafts next uh, timing wheel we can call it it's gonna be this one and then you're ready uh, secondary timing chain it's gonna be fiddly but Each of the time uh, camshafts have a wider gap in some point. This gap must be close to the gap on the sprocket. So if if it's not, you need to rotate them so they can fit. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to insert uh, these splines. So, so they are close, so you, you you will be able to do it. If not, you need to uh, figure out how they're gonna go, and then you can insert them. So as you can see, I have a good spot, and it's in. One is in. Okay, there's another one. Okay, so I installed one of the tension plates, which is on the intake side. It says front and three nuts. Now three uh, torx bolts. Not too tight, just finger tight, because that's gonna be uh, torqued down later when you're gonna set up the timing. And then spring plate. 
and the timing wheel with the arrow facing the same uh, cylinder position that uh, I mean that edge of the cylinder head same as the first wheel we did okay so now I have a manual with me I print out from internet step by step how to do uh, timing adjustment or camshaft adjustment they say you can print this out I'm gonna give you link for that but this is uh, this is how to adjust it when the veins and everything is on uh, on the cylinder head so it doesn't show step by step how to put the, all the sprockets and bolts and everything two lobes uh, intake and exhaust facing uh, each other so that's what we have here if you can see then uh, lock uh, lock the time uh, the crankshaft with the flywheel we don't have a flywheel however we set the uh, top dead center with the uh, crankshaft pulley now unscrew the studs behind uh, well on the end of the cylinder head that's that's what I did before and I also installed the camshaft locking tool press down the secondary chain tensioner cylinder for chain tensioner piston remove the uh, cylinder for chain tensioner piston that's what I did and I insert already a tool from the Venus kit It's, it's shown here we did this it says release screws we did we didn't release them we didn't tighten them because I, I was uh, putting back venus from scratch release nuts release nuts uh, pull out the okay the splines are out okay preload the tensioner rail with the uh, special tool adjusting screw with special tool now uh, very important remove the gasket or which if if you uh, haven't done it before so no gasket if you're doing uh, jig caution fit special tool that's the yeah that's the jig that's the jig that's that's what you're gonna do now okay the jig is on and screws very important thing when you when you're moving when you're tightening this down you can have any gap between the splines and the tool if you have a gap after tightening down you can't proceed further you have to go back you have to pull the splines back so they touching flush with the tool it doesn't have to be very tight because you're gonna feel straight away resistance you can finish with a uh, spanner or socket if you like and remember no gasket between When you have your jig on and it's secured, you can pull out the pin. And now, very important thing, I'm gonna show you. That's why I didn't put the crank. Uh, sorry, the timing cover. If you can see there's a slack on the chain and the tool is here we don't have a special tool which is very hard to find if you find one is very expensive for the job BMW says they need um, 
they need 0 0.7 newton meter uh, that's actually nothing there's that's that's nothing I was trying uh, this few times on my M54 and works good what you need to do is just use your finger if you rotate this by finger you can see the slack is going off so what's gonna happen we don't have a tension in here it's like preload tension so when I turn this by hand the slack goes, goes away so guys my recommendation is just use your fingers finger tight as you can see there's no slack there's movement that that tensioner that chain can't be uh, sorry about that can't be like too tight because if you do it this by by spanner by uh, ratchet you're gonna create big tension on these guide rails which are gonna create probably more wear and that's not good 0 0.07 point zero seven uh, Newton meter is not a lot I'm gonna show you I'm gonna take it off again you're gonna see you have a big slack finger tight goes back that's it you have a tension in here uh, the camshafts are locked um, we have a top dead center according to the f uh, you're gonna have a crank pulley in here anyway you're gonna see if something gonna happen if that crank pulley gonna move you can stop go back adjust it again that's how I did my M54 no problem with that computer showing each angle is fine that's what you're gonna do and now we need to tight everything we're gonna set it set this uh, torque wrench for 10 10 and now that's why you have these windows over here they 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 are for tightening the nuts Same thing, 10 newton meters. All six. They are the same, so don't worry if you mix them up. So now your timing is set. Now we can remove the tension tool and you can install the tensioner itself. If you feel it's faulty, if it's compressed too much, you have to replace it with new one this requires uh, 17 newton meters you just need to tighten this quite quite good and now you can remove the venous jig you can check double check if these uh, don't have a gap if they have a gap you have to go back Also, you can remove the timing 
uh, camshaft, sorry, locking tool and insert back the bolts you, you removed before that are needed for the valve cover. And also after after everything remember you have a locking tool in the crankshaft. After you remove that you just check if everything works. Remember this uh, block was honed so it have a resistance. Slowly rotate everything if it's working. If you do one revolution that's that's enough. You can do two revolutions. That means everything is fine. So after that you can uh, install a new gasket and put back the venous uh, the venous unit. When your venous is on, secured uh, with nuts, and now these two bolts anti-clockwise to connect actually pistons of the venous to the camshafts. These two uh, bolts not too tight. There's no, I think, specific torque for that. They just have a stop on the end. So if you're gonna feel resistance, that's it. They're not gonna go any further. So when you finish with the bolts, now you need to install two caps. Two caps when where we did them uh, before with the vinyl seals. And then finish with nut caps. When your venous is on, you can do one more thing. Your kit should be supplied with this special uh, adapter for for this uh, uh, pressure line, which normally uh, is fitted with uh, oil. But you can test the venous with compressed air. Okay, guys. So. Uh, after you install the venous and you tested it and it's working fine you crank the crankshaft everything rotating there's no stops nothing stops everything's running smooth you can start putting back your engine together I'm not gonna be showing that because there's there's no point there's many easy things you, you did probably before when you remove all of them just reverse process I didn't install the um, the cover to show you how much tension to put. This engine is just looking terrible, and I'm not investing any money. So, future videos I'm gonna do future videos about how engine works, some things how to diagnose, uh, math, uh, auto sensors, uh, whole thing about air fuel mixture. Um, what else? Uh, some things about uh, power steering. I have gearbox to uh, dis disassemble to put it on pieces. There's many things to do. So thanks for watching.